Hello, I'm Rochelle, and this is episode 116 of The Genuine Realtor Show, which airs every Friday. Well, phase three has arrived, and with it, the return of open houses. But there are a lot of realtors who are apprehensive about jumping back on the open house bandwagon. We're going to talk about the pros, the cons, and all that jazz. Ready? Let's go. Open houses have historically been a huge part of real estate. Prior to COVID, there was a divide in the industry. Some realtors feel like it's undeniably effective at selling homes, while just as many feel like it's a waste of the seller's time and just a tactic to try to pick up buyers. I'm definitely curious for your opinion on this one. Do you think that open houses are a great way for active buyers to find their next home? Or maybe they're just for neighbors to come through and take a look? Would you feel comfortable visiting an open house right now? Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to hear your take. And you know, I'm always happy to chat about your real estate goals. So please reach out with your real estate questions. So traditionally open houses have been a two hour time period on the weekend where the public can come in and tour the home. In the GTA, that's typically between two to 4 p.m. on a weekend and can bring in a few or a lot of people. The turnout has pretty much always been unpredictable. During COVID, we quickly adapted to an online open house system where we would tour the home like we would if you were in person. Take a look at the street, take a look at each room, check in the cupboards, all of that. So for comparison's sake, my busiest open house to date had 45 people through in that two hour window. My online virtual open houses have had hundreds if not thousands of views depending on the home and what's available in that price point. So there's really no comparison on which is getting the most eyeballs on your property and maximizing your exposure. Now that we're in phase three and in-person open houses are allowed again, we've had some amazing trailblazers leading the way with kind of combining that community safety and running an open house. In traditional COVID fashion, you can expect to spend some time standing in a line waiting for your turn to tour the home. You'll be expected to provide a photo ID, answer some questions about your current health situation and any recent travel, sanitize, wear your mask, all that stuff. With this method and depending on the size of the home, you can expect to fit anywhere from 10 to 15 groups through in that two hour period. So as a seller, it is your prerogative and your choice if you would like to have an open house at this point. And as a buyer, it's your choice if you would rather book a private tour at a specific time or if you want to go and wait in line for a tour. For me personally, it's not worth it yet and I'm not really convinced it ever was. Virtual open houses have brought more eyes to these properties than any in-person ever did. Keeps everyone safe, reduces emissions, and when it's virtual, people can share that link with someone else, which just creates unlimited possibilities for how many people can see that property. It's basically a win-win, win, win, win. So if you're in the Hamilton, Burlington and surrounding areas, please reach out. I'd love to chat about your real estate goals. If you're not in my area of expertise, that's okay. You can still reach out and I can help connect you with a great realtor in your neighborhood. Thank you so much for watching. Until next week, keep it genuine. And there he is. Let's just cover up that naked butt. From Round two, there's another kid. What's going on? Oh my goodness, work from home, COVID style. Oh my goodness, okay. That is burning.